Well, good morning, family. It's my absolute honor and privilege to share a few uh, words from the Word of God with you this morning. The Bible says the opening of the Word brings light and it gives us understanding. And that is what we're after. That is what we want today. Uh, we're going to find our scripture reading from Hebrews 11, those first few verses. It says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of the things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good testimony. By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are not seen were not made of things which are visible. By faith Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he is righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and through it he being dead still speaks. By faith Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death, and was not found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony, that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. In Jesus' name, let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We pray, Lord, that you would speak to us. We avail ourselves to hear from you. Uh, we open ourselves up, Father, for impartation. Uh, we open ourselves up for correction, for you setting us up for the next that you have called us to. In Jesus' name, amen. So I had a conversation with the young people on Sunday, and I asked them, uh, uh, what is happiness? I asked them, what is happiness? And some of them said that happiness is you know, a feeling you get um, when you experience something that makes you feel good, uh, somebody does something that makes you feel good, or or you just overall uh, go through life and, and encounter something, you, you are reminded of something that, that generally makes you feel good. And I asked them, okay, what is joy? And uh, most of them pretty much gave the same answer. Uh, joy is a feeling you get, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and it is in that, in that question, is happiness and joy the same thing that I think we get lost in translation? Um, because... Uh, if we were to think all things that is joy to be happiness, we're missing the point of, of what that moment can mean to us. Let me explain. Uh, Embarked Behavioral Health says the following, happiness is a more fleeting emotion often sparked by a particular moment or event that brings a sense of excitement or, exhil or exhilaration. Joy, on the other hand, is a more lasting state of being characterized by contentment and satisfaction with life over all, over all. So happiness is, is very much seasonal, you know. It is, it is determined by, by what my, my experiences are in the moment of when it happens. And joy is, is a state of being, you know, where I uh, observe and remember certain things, you know, that, that makes my life, um, you know, worth living uh, and uh, it is to to us as believers. It is a case of listen. If God did it before, if He was faithful before, surely He'll be faithful again. If if uh, this situation that I'm in right now is not the end of the world, um, I've seen the Lord do greater things. I've seen Him do more powerful things. I have heard endless testimonies of of how good God has been to to people who have been through worse things than me. Um, so surely God can do it for me, and that brings a a, a sense of contentment that brings a sense of satisfaction um, and that is basically by definition what joy is we also understand that joy is 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 part of the fruit of the holy spirit and the presence of the holy spirit is the ability to uh, or comes with the ability to for us to remember the goodness of God in seasons whether they were good whether they were bad whether they went our way or whether they didn't and so the, the writer in Hebrews, he makes this statement where he explains faith. Then he goes on to, to make certain observations, make certain observations. Uh, keep in mind what we said, what the, what the definition of joy is. It is, it is characterized by, uh, uh, by contentment and satisfaction with life overall. Wikipedia says it like this. Uh, it says that joy is the emotion in response to pleasant observation and remembrance or remembrance thereof. So 
the writer of Hebrews makes the statement about faith, and then he goes on to make certain observations. He makes uh, certain observations, and and in in a nutshell, that observation is that wherever faith was present in a story, that story turned out to be a good testimony. That story turned out to be good, regardless of how it started, regardless of what it was confronted with. Um, that story turned out to be good because of the presence of faith. Uh, he, for example, makes the, uh, or, or yeah, he he makes the example of Abel, where it's where he says that Abel gave offered to God a more excellent sacrifice through which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts, and through it, he being a, he being dead still speaks. So the 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 presence of faith meant that Abel. Uh, develop good testimony in the sight of God, uh, um, and and therefore, if we consider the definition of joy, we have access to joy when we have access to faith. We have access to joy when we have access to faith. When we have the ability to remember, uh, or, or when we have the ability to develop good testimony. What is good testimony? Good testimony is an account. It is basically us remembering, um, and and when the when good testimony is present, we have access to faith. And when faith is present, evidence and substance, like it says in verse 1, then we have access to joy. The same goes for the, the account he gives about Enoch. He says that Enoch was, was um, taken away so that he did not see death and he, was, and he was not found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Enoch had good testimony, therefore Enoch had faith, uh, and because, he, because uh, or when we have faith, we have access to joy. Friends, I want to submit that if we struggle with, with faith, maybe we should, should start with joy. Maybe we should start with remembering how good and faithful God has been. Maybe we should start by remembering how consistent he has been. And that, according to, to, to what I'm reading here in Hebrews 11, um, develops faith or it, 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 it brings forth faith. And when we have an issue with, with um, joy, we should do, do it the same thing from the other side. By faith, we should consider the evidence. We should consider that God uh, has done this before. And because he has done this before, surely he will do it again. The two is very much tied together, and it is our it is our ability to bring them together that that will serve us in the long run, that will that will give us good testimony, that will develop our faith, that will develop our joy in seasons when we have no business having joy. Um, but when we have faith, we have joy, and when we have joy, we have faith. When we have faith, we have access to joy, and when we have joy, we have access to faith. I want to close with verse 6. I want to close with verse 6. It says that, by, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. It is impossible to please Him. For he who comes to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. You see, sometimes we can be so hard on ourselves. Sometimes we, we go through things and we just accept our circumstances to you know, yeah, it is what it is, such is life, these things happen, that type of thing. But if the Bible says that without faith it is impossible to please God, then that means that God always wants us to have joy. God always wants us to, to have peace and have contentment with whatever situation that we find ourselves in because that is how we get to faith. That is how we get to faith. So your situation, whatever you're going through, is not punishment. It is not that this is what God wants for you. This is what God wants you to go through. It is a result of the absence of joy and faith. And so I want to encourage you to get to joy, get to faith. I hope this helps somebody. Um, maybe you're in a place in your life where you're struggling with, um, you know, just feeling good generally, or just having a hard time with your mental health or whatever, um, start with faith. Start with the fact that the fact that you're alive means that God is not done. The fact that you are alive means that God is still busy, means that his plan is not completed yet, means that he's, the process is still ongoing. If, and if the process is still ongoing, surely it can turn around for your good. The Bible says that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. 
Um, if you maybe have a challenge with faith, maybe you have this mountain standing in front of you, maybe you, you are uh, encountering consistent hardships and all of that, and you're just having a hard time, um, you know, having faith for, for whatever you whatever boat you are in at the moment, then start with joy. Start with um, remembering the good times, remembering uh, the faithful times, remembering the fact that, um, you know, you're still here. You, you, you're still very much in the game. You're still very much present, present. And that should develop enough joy for you to get through whatever season that you're in. Family, be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen.